Hey everyone, I was having a look at the Coast Blue maps now I've got them all uh, covered in Plex and uh, transparency sheets and taped down where uh, I ran out of Plex and I started popping down the red counters that you can see or the red markers you can see to denote where all the VP hexes were for points and things on GB2 and uh, they're mainly on G the GB2 maps and on some of the uh, Enemy at the Gates maps, but not on any of the Case Blue maps. And uh, not that it really matters anyway, because uh, I was more just curious to see where the kind of clustering of the victory points locations were. And of course, they're all had, uh, you know, uh, locations that are pointed towards Moscow, other than one little guy all the way over there in the corner, which is kind of off uh, into the wilderness. So uh, that was interesting, a uh, little exercise to see. And then I took a couple of different articles that I've been reading. I was looking at the German initial approaches. And unfortunately, you can't really see the black lines on the map very well. Uh, and I'll, I'll, move, I'll move around and have a look at that in a second. We'll come back to that. But if you play with the... Uh, full, you know, three sets of maps all, all set up, you use the strategic victory rules, which are pretty straightforward. Uh, we don't need to worry about uh, very, very much of any of this stuff that's on here. Uh, it really comes down to, in December 41, uh, strategic victory is determined using Moscow, Kharkov, Sevastopol, and Rostov. And let's have a look at where those are. I'm just going to detach you from here. Or maybe we'll just swing around. So obviously Moscow is here. And then we need to scoot around this way. Let's go over this way. There's Kharkov. Right there. And then Sevastopol, of course, is all the way... <laughs> all the way over there. And what did I say the last one was? Rostov, which is, of course is this guy here in the, in the little the nook of uh, the Sea of Azov, right there. Now, uh, so there's that. In 42, if the, let's say, you got a you know, group of guys together or whatever, you're playing this game and you got through to December, the end of December 41, and you hadn't reached a conclusion or you're playing a longer campaign, uh, the game becomes decidedly harder then because the victory conditions then become, for December 42, uh, let me just see if I can find it here. Okay. It's Moscow, Sebastopol, and the result of the German strategic choice, which is whether or not you're taking on the... Uh, one of these two locations, the Stalingrad, you know, try and pick up Stalingrad or hit the Grozny fields all the way down there. And that was so, so Sevastopol would still be something that would have to be captured. And uh, where is that? Yes. Moscow, Sevastopol. And then at the end of the game, it says, oh, okay. And that's, so then we need uh, Smolensk. So if then we keep playing, if we actually went all the way through to 43, why does that look crooked? I think it must be off tilt the on my stand. Uh, Smolensk, Kharkov, Rostov, Sevastopol, and then either Stalingrad or uh, the Maykop uh, fields. So, uh, Smolensk is, I just, I just had it in my little eye, Kharkov, oh yeah, there it is over here. So, uh, so you would have a fairly extensive area that you'd still need to try and control, uh, but it would not, uh, would not include the necessity of controlling Moscow. So the first two years, you're expected to be well up in this area, and then uh, later on, you're 
your obsolete push back. This one, let's go back in the corner over there. So you would be looking to con contain a, uh, a different, or control a different area. Okay, let's have a look at these uh, supply, these rail supply things. We'll come on this side of the map. So up in the north here, and you have to pardon the, the light, but uh, there's a rail unit that starts right here. And so rail gauge has to be converted uh, so that you can then throw from uh, headquarter units. And these arrows uh, just kind of denote the, you know, which are the target cities for you to, uh, to attempt to try and convert. There were some notes on where to place potential extenders. There's another rail unit that starts in Smolensk. And you want to try and pick up uh, the next location right here, potentially. And having played this southern portion previously, we know uh, from previous play that, you know, at the outset, there's a rail unit here. And the article I read suggested uh, two things. One, uh, move the rail unit down to uh, the corner top and, and power along uh, the, the dual railroad here and get that converted as quickly as possible, uh, which does require some clearing of units, but uh, nevertheless, uh, the alternative was uh, to move it a little further forward, uh, move your rail head up to here, and then put an extender further out so that, as we know, in turn uh, turn one, we can capture our rail in turn one. We played that little scenario before. And Bryansk uh, needs to be encircled and taken out, as does, uh, where is this other, yeah, this pocket here. This will be, a, there'll be a pocket here that we'll need to capture. But apparently there's not enough supply to do both. So what I'm wondering is, you know, there seems to be a lot of analysis on the GB2 side of things, but not so much on the Case Blue map, uh, the other focus of the maps here. And the rail net over here is a little more complicated. And I'm actually, unfortunately, I'm off about half a hex here with the map layout, but I just could not get it to sit right. I was more concerned about it being accurate over here uh, where I think a lot of the action will be than, than back here. For some reason, the maps just were not lining up. They lined up here, but then missed here. And I may have uh, put the wrong map on top. I tried it both ways, but we're, we're not having a lot of joy. So, uh, so we've got this really complicated little rail network in the middle here. If you can see that, I'm trying to zoom in a little bit. This has already taken eight minutes. I'm sorry, this is so long, guys. Anyway, so we, we you know there's a, there's the one railroad uh, to Stalingrad going that way, and there's another one that comes across the Don Steps there, uh, here, and goes up there to the Volga River, and that just looks like a long ass way, doesn't it? But your alternatives are not much better. Uh, the alternatives are, I think, I think I. From what I've seen of this scenario here, dealing with Sevastopol, it, this is a little bit of a side action. It's important and it's difficult to capture, but you can grind a lot of that out with just infantry, which will make a big, uh, a big difference. I'm gonna put some more light on here. And you know, this city is probably gonna be important as well, just because of the Kush uh, Straits there. Uh, and then you come all the way down to, I'm probably going too fast for you, come all the way down to Grozny and the uh, oil fields here. I started playing a scenario with a chap here and I really just was not doing a good job of it. So I, I begged off and, and passed on it. Unfortunately, I would have liked to have finished that uh, with him, but uh, I just, I'm not very good at playing on Vassal. So uh, I just, I just don't have the patience to sit and move and click and move a couple hundred units around. I even have trouble doing that with uh, the Blitzkrieg legend at the moment. Right, so and then obviously Stalingrad's over here. Here's a detail look up at Stalingrad. It's these four hexes plus the smaller uh, hex here with this adjacent town. <laughs> it looks just like, uh, it's five hexes, sorry. 
looks just like the uh, SCS uh, Starbird Pocket 2 map uh, for all the obvious reasons. Alright, uh, and there's the river there and the marshes, etc. Coming down to the Caspian Sea. So big open area. Uh, what I'm wondering is how much effort you put into, uh, you know, say in the first year, October, November, December, maybe through to the spring, do you uh, go all out and try and get Moscow and pull forces away from here and just do a holding action here somewhere, back over here? Um, or not? Because you don't, if you went all out in 41, you don't need to capture Stalingrad, all the oil fields. Uh, you do need to capture Rostov, and you do need to get uh, uh, Sevastopol. I need to look at the forces, but once we, uh, I'm going to have a look at this on Vassal and see how, what the force mix is like and what, what comes in where in terms of reinforcements later on. But it's an interesting, uh, interesting situation to be working on and consider. Uh, I'm not sure if and when we'll get started on any of this. Oh, here's some of the other rail, uh, rail moves that you can potentially make and you know, areas to focus on first. Uh, so, all right, thought I'd share that with you. It's, it's fun just to look at, even though I never play this, I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited about just having a, having a look at the opportunity here. And we'll kind of we'll kind of take from there.